Hi, welcome everyone. Thanks so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. 96,000 subscribers coming up very soon. Flares on December 16th, 2022 that they're talking about in the news. We got snow from the 16th to now for two days. It's been snowing here and it's already melting now. Take a look at this, y'all. The sun today, pretty bad. Filmed on December 18th, right after sunrise. Just to say it cleared over the houses, is probably about 10.30 a.m. And you can see on the left, on the right, and we'll see all the angles further out. We'll see it with incredible detail because I don't know if you notice, the sun is extremely clear. There's not too much shakiness. This lasts sometimes 5, 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. There's always a cloud that appears. There's always something. And these days, if you guys yourselves and gals are watching the sky, and I, I know you are because you're telling me about it, you're giving me that feedback, it's always changing. Peter Benton channel says when he films the sun and the moon, there's always that mysterious cloud that appears. I myself spoke about it many years ago. I believe the moon is causing those clouds to appear between Earth and the moon. When it's either closer to Earth or not, we always see that bloody cloud forming around both the sun and the moon. The clouds, they say, come from the sun that are around Earth. There's lots of science to it, right? And we start reading all the science and we go, well... Are they telling the truth or not? Well, whether they are or not, I just repeat what science is saying, but we still have to decipher and use common sense, I think, for everything, even for uh, mathematical equations and science, uh, physics, everything. Science itself is always evolving. It's a combination, a combining of a whole bunch of theories People are always fighting inside the science community, which is normal, and it's what gets it ahead, it seems. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy New Year. We'll be streaming throughout the New Year's and the holidays because there's never any stopping or vacation here, whether the views come in or not, whether, whether they block the traffic or not. The amazing videos that I share with you all, there is an incredible feedback from you all. Now, listen, I got the most therapeutic comments back, incredible comments of support. It's continual. You all know what the problem is, like me, um, holding the subs back, holding back the views and the comments remaining at 100 commenters. This is something because I'm showing truth, right? So truth has a cost. Truth does not want to come out, right? They're going to do everything to hold back the truth. So if my research is showing something that the government would probably not want the people to know about, it could be that my research is real and um, everything that occurs along the way, well, in reality, it's vetting me. What do you think of the sun, guys? Seriously, what do you think of the sun? <laughs> I mean, it's been aggressive incredibly for a long time and some of these spots um, are gino ginormous okay they're bigger than earth and i don't know if you notice you see that they are approaching one another when that happens the fields cross over one another it's just absolutely incredible how do you think they could hold so much traffic from this channel it would be near impossible unless it was an artificial intelligent um, bot online doing all the blocking of the searches. As a matter of fact, they're talking about it now where, I don't know if you've noticed when you're looking up about war or if you're looking up about what's going on in Ukraine or in China, there is no more information. For us here in Canada, there's absolutely no more information because of that C-11 bill, <laughs> which... Um, I had completely jumped over that and not even checked into it. So busy with everything else going on. Now, even talking about Kennedy, the, yeah, okay, the assassination, the involvement of the CIA. So they said it a long time ago, it was a dismantling of all those associations. I see a positive thing coming out of this, but obviously it's not going to be done in just one year. So I'm turning the sun around here, left, right, and I'm getting some really nice views of these incredible sunspots, as dangerous as they may be. I mean, look at it. And uh, um, the past few weeks, that line in the center, there always a communication of them. The reversal of the sun is happening right now, if not 
already complete. I doubt it, but it is occurring. They've been speaking about it for months, and especially in the past few days, saying that the poles changed places literally already. The north went to the south, and the south went to the north. Obviously, that has a lot to do with the different placement of the sun and the moon that we see in the sky we see an incredible change in the path along the elliptical line where we've always seen the sun both rise and set in the east and in the west but now we're seeing this drastic change where not only during the equinox that we're seeing a change and not only when the the moon and the sun are aligned with earth also causing them to be both seen in the sky there's some things that can be deciphered by science using factual science but not everything especially with the way the sun and the moon are are roaming around in the sky and doing cartwheels which is absolutely crazy incredible somebody had used that term bruce it's cartwheeling and i said yeah it's turning absolutely we're seeing a shift um, in the moon which always has been there but now it's more drastic, the shift. And not only the shift in the moon, we're seeing the shift not in its rotation, but its emplacement, where the heck it is. And it's changing places in the sky. A lot of you now are noticing it and saying that it's low in the sky. And all those moments that both the moon and the sun now are stuck in the south. I mean, in in the olden days, which was just a few weeks ago or months ago, right? The sun in the afternoon used to be straight up in the sky, but it's not anymore. It's off to one side. You see that everything's unregulated. 2019, Beetlejuice exploded. There's guys, you know, how, how much are they not telling us? Well, I hope you enjoyed The Sun. This is The Sun filmed on December 18th, 2022. Thanks for watching, everyone. Keep your fingers crossed, hoping there'll be a sky tonight and maybe some UFOs. Cool for Let's see that game. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Aliens up there on the moon. They may be even coming right here soon. Aliens about it on the moon. Yes, they are up there. Doesn't matter because the slow's just coming soon. The slow's just coming soon. Yeah. <laughs>